Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano and Frank, our Patriot Bald Eagle. Tonight, we're going to be discussing uh, some issues that Costco is having with some major recalls that are affected by the Bruce Pack recall of the 11.8 million pounds of ready-to-eat meats, including meat, chicken, and poultry. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what, it just keeps getting bigger, guys. It keeps getting bigger. It keeps getting worse. And it seems like it is really starting to take hold on Costco here. Costco has many products that keep getting added to this. Now, we've had some comments. We've had some of our viewers have commented on a lot of different products that keep going on uh, this recall from Costco. So I felt like we really needed to talk about this as I know a lot of our viewers are Costco members, us included. So we're reading a little from USA Today. Uh, they go on in their headline, says, Costco recalls chicken products over Listeria linked to larger recall of Bruce Pack meats. Uh, Costco is recalling more food products with meat prompt by potential Listeria contamination, the company recently announced. The move is part of a recent broader recall related to ready-to-eat chicken and other meat sold in grocery stores across the United States, including Walmart, Publix, Target, Aldi, and Trader Joe's. And those are just a few. Many, uh, many are on this list. Like, pretty much everywhere. <laughs> uh, the Costco, not everywhere, but I mean, there, there are a lot more included in this as well, including Kroger and pretty much anywhere that sells some of these same products. The Costco recall includes Reina Chicken Truffle Cabanera. Okay, now this is a popular one. This is one that people have actually asked us to point out some of the different prices when we shop at Costco. I know the Reina products are very popular, especially here on the channel. Another reason why I wanted to focus on this today. Uh, the Tagliatelle Grilled White Chicken and Portobello Mushroom Sauce is also on this recall. And Kirkland Signature Smoked Salmon which has been more of recent. Uh, notice, notice letters were sent to customers who purchased the products on October 11th and October 22nd. A lot of our viewers were saying that Costco was literally calling you um, to tell you that these whatever products you had bought were on recall. I do like that about Costco. The chicken products were sold from September to October of 2024, while the salmon was sold between October 9th and October 13th, according to the company. Uh, so the Costco repro they go on, uh, the Costco products that are recalled are the Reina chicken, truffle, uh, carbonara, and the Tagliatelle uh, grilled white chicken and portobello mushroom sauce, Kirkland signature smoked salmon with lot number. Now this is new, okay? We haven't seen the lot number on this. Uh, at least I haven't. Um, Kirkland signature smoked salmon with lot number 8512 eight zero one two seven zero and that is eight five one two eight zero one two seven zero uh costco also previously recalled these products which is ones that we were talking about before uh the ready wise 110 serving emergency protein bucket as uh that's the uh, the different freeze-dried meals uh, the emergency kit meals that they have, and I believe this was only sold online. Not 100%. Some stores may actually have them, but I think it was mostly the ones that were sold online. Uh, and it does not affect the 150 count Ready Wise meals, which they call, uh, there was some funny name they get. Well, not funny, but apocalyptic uh, meal here. is That's like their slogan on the uh, 150 count meal, but... The 110 count meal, it's, it's the same meals, it's just less, 40, 40 packs less. And it's pretty expensive, so make sure you either get your money back or get a replacement. Uh, Red's Southwestern Grilled Chicken Mini Burritos. We went over these. El Monterey Mexican Grilled Chicken and Cheese Taquitos. And this continues to grow as we go along here as these companies are... I feel like some of these companies... 
Not that they don't know that Bruce Pack is part of the meets, but maybe they don't, or maybe this slipped, because like we've said in previous videos, who even heard of Bruce Pack before these recalls started happening? Because Bruce Pack is a supplier of a lot of different meats and stuff that go in different salads, you know, like in some of the chicken and salads, you know, select for select ones, right? It's not all of them. Okay, different uh, meals like great value. A lot of great value products at Walmart have been on recall because of this. Um, and Good and Gather from Target. And the list just goes on and on. And we continue to cover this. Every little bit of information that we get, we're trying to talk about this as much as possible. So if, if you have anything in your fridge that is affected by this, you want to make sure that you, uh, one, safely remove it. Make sure you clean the area. And maybe look up some different information on Listeria and stuff on how to, uh, you know, maybe call the company first, you know, because they may just want you to dispose of it and then give you your money back. You want to make sure you get your money back. Okay, anyone who purchased these products should not eat them and return to their local Costco for a refund. I love that about Costco. They don't even mention throwing it away. They want you to get your money back because they want you to keep shopping there. They want your business, right? You pay for a membership there. And I feel like customer service at Costco is is like some of the best customer service I've ever seen. I've, I get that from Sam's Club too, okay? Um, but, but Costco, I'll be honest, some of the best customer service I've ever seen anywhere in any grocery store. I mean, they are, they are top-notch top notch. So no mention of a throwaway, get your money back. They want you to get your money back. And that is what I love about Costco. Okay. They have on here, USDA reveal, uh, meat, poultry, meat and poultry in Bruce pack, Listeria recall, uh, were sent to these 200 schools. Okay. Now this is a link. We're not going to go over these. We've gone over uh, a lot of this already, but in this USA to, or yeah, USA Today article, there is the reveal of these different 200 schools where these Bruce Pack meets were sent to. Now, keep in mind that these are within a lot of different meals, okay? I think people think 11.8 million pounds. Well, you have to think these are different ready-to-eat meals that are just a couple few pieces in each meal. So who knows how many different meals this includes, if you're saying 11.8 million pounds of meat and a sprinkle of food in each one, I'm thinking, you know, we don't know how many hundreds of millions of different meals this is. But let me say this. We've gotten a lot of comments from people who have been shopping at Walmart that your Walmarts look empty. when, Because rightfully so. Because when you walk into Walmart, let me explain this. When you walk into Walmart, okay, Every Walmart I've ever walked into, you, you in the grocery area, it opens up pretty much like most grocery stores. You're in the in the uh, produce area, right? Well, you have all these different packs of different things like ready to eat salads, market side salads, market side products, great value products. A lot of these meats have been in those, so they're on recall. So they're taking it all down, all down. So so. As soon as you walk into Walmart, you're seeing empty spaces. I saw it too. It's crazy looking. It really is. And and you add all these other different recalls like the waffles and, and all this other stuff. Yeah, it's, the store's going to look empty at first. Now, obviously, a lot of the different canned goods and everything are still packed in. You know, still plenty of food at Walmart. It's not like it's an empty store or anything. But a lot of these things, I'm just kind of trying to paint a picture of how big this Bruce Pack a uh, meeting company, meat company really is and how much it's supplying. And now we have these things with, you know, things are coming out about the McDonald's and how the, the e, e. coli, okay, which is a completely different subject, but we're kind of on the same thing here. Now we're, they're disputing with Taylor Farms and the recalled onions and Taylor Farms at the same time is recalling all the, their different onions, packages of onions, like 30 pound packs that they've been sending to restaurants. We don't even know what all restaurants are selling to. Somebody left in the comments the other day that Taco Bell, KFC were pulling their onions. So, and we don't know any of this information yet. There's nothing that, that, that has been traced to that. All we know is little bits and pieces of information. That is why we try to keep updating here as much as possible because eventually 
we're hopefully going to get some answers here. We need answers, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger like everybody said it would. You guys said it would. We've been saying that this was going to get enormous. It has. Um, even, even me doing this for a living, doing this all the time, covering all these different stories and everything, I never thought that this Bruce Pack thing was going to get this big, but we never really had any information. Let's date back a couple weeks. They didn't give any information. It was like nobody knew anything. They just knew that there was a recall on ready-to-eat meats and poultry. Okay, and I guess chicken. And who knows what else, right? This Every day, I feel like there's new information coming out on this. And we're constantly trying to focus on where it's going, how it's getting there. We have all these other recalls that are happening at the same time. We have the number one fast food restaurant in the world, probably. Probably. I mean, I know it's number one in the nation, but there's McDonald's all over the world, right? So, you know, we need to find out what's going on. Uh, who is involved? Everybody's playing the get out of this before, you know, they find out type game here. I feel like Taylor Farms is part of this. Okay. Now we've had issues with Taylor Farms before, and we've had issues with recalls with fast food restaurants and these kind of things before, never to this magnitude, never to this magnitude. And it has gotten so fast. This McDonald's thing got out so fast. It's like, we have to like, do the numbers. We have to figure out the facts because that's the problem. I go on facts, just the facts, just like Dragnet, just the facts. That is what I go on. Okay. Because when we start mixing these things up and we start talking to them in different areas of things, well, that could ultimately paint a picture to the bigger cause, but we need to find out these things individually and add them up and figure out where's this coming from and who do we stop doing business with? Who do we cut ties with? These big name places like McDonald's are probably scrambling trying to find somewhere else to buy their product, even if it costs a little bit more. And you better believe these other places are going to do the same. And you also better believe that this will raise prices. But let me say that if this raises prices a little bit, but you know that it's coming from a healthier source and, and we know the lab work and the things that companies are doing to to prevent this from happening in the future, then you probably don't mind paying a little bit more because that is why these companies are not because they're probably getting one heck of a deal from Bruce Pack and these other companies. Like because Bruce Pack is a company that deals with other companies and then those companies sell their products to you, to the stores, and then in turn sell to you, right? It's like the beginning of, of the middleman that fills to the final product and then that together sells to the stores, which sells to you. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot of in between middle people that, you know, we need to, we need to start figuring this stuff out. Okay. So they go on to talk about listeria and some of the different symptoms. Uh, we've gone over that a lot. Um, I recommend looking up some of the symptoms and stuff like that, especially because it's just getting too big guys. It is getting out of control, out of control. And again, the McDonald's thing is not from Listeria. The onions are, is a uh, E. coli outbreak, okay? And it seemed like it was mostly in Colorado, but it is now spread out to a few more states. And I'm not going to keep going over all those, but when, as we have updates on it, we will um, put them together here in these little news breaks for you. Okay, uh, I will go over this. Recall connected to larger one involving meat producer Bruce Pack. Uh, the chicken products included in the notice are connected to a larger recall involving pre-cooked meat producer Bruce Pack. The company uh, recently released more information about products impacted by its 11.8 million pound recall first announced on October 9th by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Uh, routine testing found evidence of uh, listeria or L- uh, minos and I can't even pronounce that. I just say Listeria. Uh, on Bruce Pack ready to eat poultry, uh, which can cause a Listeriosis infection if, in, if consumed. Affected products were shipped to establishments and distributors nationwide, including restaurants, schools, and food institutions, and appear in salads, 
frozen meals, and other prepackaged foods of different brands sold at a variety of locations. Let's make that a little more clear as to where they're. The last I looked, and it's probably growing, it was a 343, 343 pages, guys. 433 pages. That is unreal. That is massive. Um, and uh, <laughs> something needs to be done, hopefully, a little quicker than, you know, because this information is coming out very slowly every day. Like I said, from the beginning of this, there was no information. All we knew was that 10 million pounds of ready-to-eat meat. Nobody even knew the name. Nobody even knew Bruce Pack. We were looking it up. You, If you were here, you know, I mean, it was like there was no information. You know, and I, I wonder, after a couple of days, you know, we got more information. I wonder if, if we had got that information that same day, if this would have been resolved a little quicker. In this kind of deal, something where you don't want to mess around with, 48 hours is a long time of, of when, you know, this information could have been out here and we could have started solving the problem or figuring out what the heck, you know, how were we going to make it less than what it was? I'm surprised. It seems like it has stopped at 11.8 million pounds. Okay. So if that gets bigger, I wouldn't be surprised, but it has been roughly a week since they came out with the new numbers and they added that all these were in meals going to schools as well. That, that's that's what really irks me about this and, and why if we knew a little sooner, maybe, you know, and I know those may have been shipped before this anyway, and hopefully they were in contact with all of those schools and not just putting it out on the media. So I, I don't know. Uh, let's see, as of Friday, oh wait, that's something else. Okay, yeah, so these are some different updates that USA Today has been putting out. I'll tell you what, USA Today has really been covering it well. Uh, Newsweek, Newsweek, food safety news, which there's, uh, the reason why I don't read too much from food safety news is because it kind of goes back and forth. And it's like a lot of the things that we've already covered, I really just want to get the new information and kind of just touch on some of the things that we haven't covered. So, um, or, or touch on some of the things that we have covered. But anyway, guys, you know, that's that's the news for today. Uh, continue. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll continue to keep you updated on all of this information as it comes out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.